go down to verse 17 reading from the New Living Translation, and it says, this good news tells us how God makes us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scriptures say, it is through faith that the righteous person has life. And if you read that last sentence, in the Message Bible, it says, the person in right standing before God is by trusting him really lives. So those who live by faith, they really live. We are in a series called Leap. This is part two. I need you to look at your neighbor on your way to your seat. Tell your neighbor, face it to fix it. You talk to the wrong person, they don't want to fix nothing. Look at somebody else say, you need to face it to fix it. Amen. We may be seated. Lord, speak to our hearts. Speak to our minds. In Jesus' name, amen. We had this conversation we started on last week. So we talked about the psychology of the mind, the mind and how it operates and thinking of the same thing, thinking, having the same thoughts. And watch this, overthinking everything. You got people in your life, they overthink everything. Should I cross the road or should I stay here? Should I wear red shoes or maroon shoes? Red is red, honey. Why are you overthinking it? We overthink not only with our daily lives and our daily walk, but in our past. We overthink stuff that happened years ago. We overthink things and we keep thinking about it. So now, watch this. I can never get out of being who God wants me to be because I'm thinking about who I was, what I did, who did it to me, instead of moving forward. Talk about overthinking. The word is remunition. And remunition means you, you always, I told people last week, remunition means simply reminiscing. Y'all know what reminiscing is. All of y'all here reminisce every day. Y'all think about when y'all was 20 and 22. Oh, I remember when my body was, I was 20. Y'all won't talk to me in here. You remember all those things you are reminiscing. So remunating is, watch this, thinking of the same thing over and over again with no progression. There's no resolve. You still thinking of the same hurt, but you're not thinking of any healing. You're still thinking of the same thing that happened in your past, but you don't understand that God forgave you. You are constantly remunerating. Look at your neighbor and say, you got to get over it. It is derived from the word the farmers call remunerating. The reason they call it remunerating is because it talks about the cow and how the cow constantly, when it eats, it chews up the hay and it swallows the hay and it regurgitates the hay and it will do that for hours until it becomes a part of them. Some of us have been chewing on things too long. We, we've been chewing on the same thing too long. You got the same tasting in your mouth and it is nasty to you but you keep chewing it y'all not talking you keep regurgitating it watch this you keep bringing it back up can I help you out you got people in your life that will keep bringing stuff up in your life I did that 25 years ago well, you still gotta bring it up you still won't bring it in my face y'all not nobody talking to me in here today y'all look at your neighbor and say are you the one or are, is it you that keep bringing up old stuff y'all not talking to me in here remunerating you got the same bitter sweet taste in your mouth yeah it's bitter but it's sweet y'all not talking to me in here because you think about it it was a bitter past but you stop remembering the good things and then you start remembering the bad things you remember the, the good things and then the, the bad things yeah, it's a bitter sweet taste in your mouth and God said I need you to wash your mouth out y'all not talking to me look at your neighbor and say wash your mouth out yeah I need you to wash your mind out we move forward we talk about being led by God and I got to face the facts of my life but I also got to face my faith my issue is not just the facts of my life yeah the fact is you broke mm -hmm, that's a fact y'all don't want to talk to me in here you know the fact is we don't like to deal with fact we do cover it with faith and I do believe in God I trust God will take me but the fact is when you leave here today 
if you had $3.22 in your account, most likely it's still going to be $3.22. Y'all not talking to me here. So I have to learn, watch this, as a believer in Christ to face the fact. The fact is, I spent too much money at the mall yesterday. Why? The, the fact is, I went too far outside my spending limit. I went past my budget, and that's why I only got $3.22. I got an issue with spending money. That's facing the facts. But facing the faith is that God, I'm trusting you that I'm going to change my behavior. I'm going to change who I am because I'm leaning and depending on you because only you, God, can make me right. Look at your neighbor and say, only God can make you right. Here's the issue. We're going to deal with the issue here. The issue is you won't leap because of your thoughts. You won't leap because you're overthinking. You won't leap because you won't face the facts. You won't face it to fix it. But watch this. God says, I'm going to change that today. I got a few minutes. I'm going to help y'all out. Your issue is often wrapped up in worry and anxiety. The reason why you won't jump, the reason why you won't leap off into the cliff, leap off the cliff is because, watch this, you are worried about everything. If I, if I leap, if I go for the job, if I open the business, if I go back to school, God, what's going to happen? God said, if you leap, you're trusting me. You're, you're not talking to me. Anxiety and worry are simply a weapon created by the enemy. You, know, you have anxiety attacks that's created by the enemy. You have anxiety. You have worry. You're stressed out. These things cause you not to leap. These things cause you not to jump because you're so worried about what's going to happen. What, what, what's going to happen if I go on the job? Will I get fired? Am I qualified? God said, I didn't ask you if you was qualified. I'm telling you, I anointed you for this. I, it's just time that I've called you out. Watch this. God does never call you out of something if he don't plan on catching you. Y'all not talking to me in here. I, I, got, I wish I had a real church today. James Baldwin says this, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it's faced. I'm going to say that again. Not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until you face it. One writer says fear and anxiety are like kidnappers that hold you captive, holding you back from a full life, holding you back from freedom. Somebody say stronghold. The enemy has a stronghold on you because it's holding you hostage from growing. It's holding you hostage. It's like you almost get to the light. You almost get to the door to get out and the kidnapper finds you and drags you back in. Yeah, yeah, that's anxiety. You, you ready to face it. You ready to go and you ready to grow and you ready to do it and the enemy says no, not today. I'm going to hold you back but God says in the name of Jesus, I, you're going to be released today. Look at your neighbor and say I won't have anxiety when I leave this place. I, I, I'm claiming it in the name of Jesus. Some of y'all ain't open y'all back Y'all know y'all stress over everything. I dare you to speak to yourself and say, I'm not going to have anxiety today. I'm not going to worry today because God wants me to go somewhere. And I can't be worried where God's taking me. I, I, I got to push this thing today. We will become victims. This is the worst thing. You become a victim of fearing fear itself. You scared to be scared. Y'all not talking to me. You scared to be scared. Y'all 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 are looking at me like I'm funny. I, I I yeah yeah. You scared to be scared. You you don't want to step out because it is the unfamiliar. It's the thing you never did before. Yeah yeah. You know anybody ever been camping in here? Anybody ever stayed out in the woods? Look at y'all. It's a bunch of black folk in here. We ain't, some of y'all ain't never stayed. I ain't going outside. I'm scared to be scared. I'm scared something gonna spray me. Something gonna bite me. You scared to step out? Watch this because. 
when you step out on something like that, it is the unknown. It's what you don't know about. It's what you haven't seen. And that's your problem. That's why you're not flying. And that's why you're not soaring. Because you are standing at the tip of the hill, standing at the tip of the cliff. And you see other people blessed. You see other people going forward on jobs. You see other people growing. And you're just sitting on the cliff. you just like sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Y'all not talking to me in here. You look at your neighbor and say, you got to get off the dock. It's a book written by Dr. Don Colbert says, in this book I suggest everyone try to find it and pick it up. It is called Deadly Emotions. Deadly Emotions. Written by Dr. Don Colbert. Deadly Emotions. Understand the mind, the body, the spirit that can heal you, watch this, or destroy you. Yeah, dealing with the mind, the body, the spirit that can either heal you or destroy you. In the book, Cobra goes through medical and psychological findings that prove that when we don't face our to toxic emotions, unresolved hurts, childhood pains, angers or wounds, our bodies suffer and we get sick. Y'all not talking to me in here. I'm going to say it again. He finds out that if we don't face our toxic emotions, unresolved hurts, childhood pains, anger, wounds, our bodies suffer. Do you know that it's this not about what we eat? It's what we think. That's why you got people that got, they, listen, they got the best diet in the world, but they still got high blood pressure. Because it has nothing to do with what they're eating. It has all to do with what they're thinking. And the reason your blood pressure is going up is because your body is telling you you are on overload. You, you trying to hold everything in. You trying to hold it all in. You know, you're only cussing once a week now, so you're holding everything in. Y'all not talking to me in here. You, you hold it all in, and your body is on overload. God said, to break the load, break the load. Look at your neighbor say, break the load. You must face what is wrong with you. You must face what hurts you. You must face brokenness. You must face all of this to fix it. I need to give you some help. Go to Philippians 4 and 6. I got to face it. Give you some word. God says in Philippians 4, verse 6. I'm going to read it. Write it down. I'm praying about it. By November, we're going to have screens in here that's going to read, have the Bible up for y'all. Y'all not talking to me. I, I, I'm, I'm going to speak that into existence. We are going to have screens in here. So y'all can look at it and I can keep it moving. Amen. Y'all ready? Philippians 4 and 6. Don't worry about anything. Watch this. It says, instead, pray about everything. So your problem is you worry about it, but you ain't praying about it. I, I, I'm going to say it again. Don't worry about, it says, anything. Hold up, you telling me don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. When you feel you're getting worried and you feel you're getting anxious, you feel your anxiety coming on, I need you to find a place and get on your knees and talk. Y'all not talking to me in here yet. Talk to God about it. Because while you're worrying about it, God has already worked it out. Yeah, he's, he's just waiting for you to commit. He's waiting for you to submit. He's waiting for you to get on your knees and say, I'll trust you, Lord. I, that's it for this week. I don't know who I'm talking to in here. This week, you're going to need to trust God. Yeah, that's going to be your prayer. You ain't got to say a bunch of stuff. This week, I'm going to need you to open your mouth, get on your knees and say, Lord, I trust you you. Ah, oh, y'all not talking to me here. I feel it right here. I feel my help coming. I got to trust God in my situation. God, I'll trust you. I, it don't look right. It don't look like things are going to turn around, but God, I'll trust you. I, I'll obey you. I'm going to stay on my knees until you answer me. Look at your neighbor and say, trust God. 
Trust him, trust him. It says here, Philippians, ah, I feel it here. It says, tell God what you need. Hmm. And thank him for all, this is in the Bible, been in here all this time. Thank him for all he has done. Y'all ain't caught it yet. That's, it, I, I'm going to give you the hood version. It said, don't you worry about it. Just start thanking God for it. He's going to work it out. I, I know school is hard. I know, I know it's tough, but stop worrying about it. Just start thanking God. I, look at your neighbor and say, there's a shift going on. There's a, he's shifting it. Huh? Oh, William Murphy said he's shifting. He's leaning in my direction. Y'all y'all not with me in here. Look at your neighbor and say, you better lean to God. Yeah, you better give God a chest bump. You don't want to talk to me in here. You better tell God, work it out for me. Y'all ought to get on y'all feet. We're going to exercise today. I, I feel the spirit of the Lord in here. Huh? You ought to just take it and say, Lord, you're going to work it out. They ain't going to know why you're doing that this week. They, they ain't going to know why you're just throwing your shoulder, but you're going to tell them, God is leaning leaning in my direction. Uh, God is working it out for me. Uh, God is taking everything under control. How is he doing it? Why aren't you worried? Why are you caught up in why are you anxious? Because God is leaning in my direction. Uh, he's working it out for me. Look at your neighbor say, you better lean with me. Y'all not talking with me. You don't look at your neighbor say, neighbor, lean with me. Because God is leaning in my direction. Uh, he's working it out for me. Oh, look at your neighbor and say, you ought to rock with me. Lean with me. Rock with me. Because the Lord is leaning in my direction. I got a few minutes. Take your seat. I got a few minutes. I got a few minutes. It says, thank him for all he has done. Somebody say all. Y'all ain't with me. Say everything. So he's saying, I need you to shift everything you worrying about, and I need you to thank me for everything. Thank me for the job. Thank me for the heart. Watch this. Thank me for the promotion. Thank me for the folk you evicted out my life. Thank me right now. Yeah, yeah. How many got a thank you praise in here? That's y'all know what a thank you praise is. <laughs> that just means you just keep thanking God and thanking God and thanking God and thank. I'ma thank him till he do it. Y'all not talking to me here. I'ma thank him until things change. I'ma I'ma thank him. I'ma bless the Lord. I'ma bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually. I'm trying to get through this thing here. All of the things he has done. He has done. God ain't getting ready to do nothing for you. He already did it. Y'all not talking. Yeah, yeah. You're waiting to see. Is he going to do it? Is it going to work out? Can it happen for me? God's saying, I've already done it. So I need you to open your mouth and thank me for what I'm already lean. Y'all all week I'm just gonna be I'm gonna catch people in the hallway around with it, uh, hit them with it. What you hit me for? That's God leaning in my direction. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all not talking about it. I dare you to tell somebody. Excuse me. I'm just. What you doing? God's leaning in my direction. I'm leaning in His direction. I I ain't running from God no more. I, I'm leaning in His. Get through here. Woo, I'm gonna get through this next week. I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it through this. I ain't gonna make it through this. Y'all come back next week. All right, I'm gonna finish up with this here. I'm gonna finish up the script, scripture. Promise we're gonna get out of here. He says, after you thank him and you believe he's done it, watch what he says, then you will experience God's peace. Thank you. God, thank you. God, I thank you. Then you will experience God's peace. If y'all came today, y'all blessed because this is from the Holy Spirit. I ain't, I ain't wrote this down. This is God telling you right now. I'm telling you, watch this. He says, then you'll experience God's peace. Watch this. Which exceeds anything we can understand. Do you know why, folk? 
I, and can I tell you, I'm, I'm 41. Y'all know why I ain't got too many grades except for the two I pluck out? Because I stopped worrying about everything. I'm trusting God so it gives me peace even while I'm in a storm. Y'all don't know why I'm shouting. Last year around this time, I only think we can get up in this church. And everybody said, what you going to do? I'm going to trust God. Yeah, I, I, can I be real? I'm going to cuss at home, but I'm going to still trust God. I, I'm going to lose my mind in front of the Lord. I'm going to lay. I, 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 I'm going to talk a bunch of trash. Y'all not talking to me. How many got in the car on your way to work sometimes say, these the words I'm going to tell my, I'm going to cuss them clean out. But by the time you open your car door, you back at peace. Yeah, that's the peace that nobody understands. The peace that pa passes the knowledge of your enemies. They wonder why they done lied on you and you still okay. You still all right. They wonder why you still making it. They done took your car. They done evicted you. Your son in jail. They think you're going to lose it all. But look at your neighbor and say, nope, I'm going to still trust them. I got the peace of God in me. I, I'm going to cry at night. But weeping made endure for a night. But joy. Look at your neighbor say joy. And guess what y'all? If you ain't checked your clock yet, it's morning time. Do I got anybody in here that got joy? This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world. Look at your neighbor say, peace, 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 peace. And you're going to tell people all week, give them the do sign, peace. Y'all, I got the Martin Lawrence spirit in me, peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. people going to come to stress you out, peace. Y'all not talking, peace be still, peace in the waters, peace in the storm, peace in my household, peace. Y'all not talking to me in here, give the peace sign. I speak peace over your life, peace over your situation, peace over your storm peace over your school peace over your classes you will trust God even when it's hard y'all not talking to me in here somebody shout peace stand up we gotta go peace peace <laughs> tired of folk coming in your face telling you what you used to do peace <laughs> Y'all need to peace out some folk this week. Peace, I like that. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Holla at you later. Peace. <laughs> yeah, don't let the door hit you. <laughs> Y'all not talking to me in here. He says, all that worrying, all that anxiety, get rid of it. So you can leap. There's a reason you're not flying. You're not flying because you're too heavy. You're trying to carry all this stuff and you got to get the wings moving. Don't listen. Don't miss next week. God spoke to me last night. He said, you're not going to get through this. So I'm already going to take you to next week. Next week, we're going to be talking about fail failure to launch. Failure to launch. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Failure to launch. You don't want to miss it. Y'all need to bring three people to church with you. Don't miss it. Cause we're going to find out why you ain't launched yet. And we're going to be talking about how the eagles, how they soar. But watch this. Eagles, eagles don't soar first. They have to learn. And they call it fledging. That means they go out on the branch. But they don't go nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you're just flapping. But you ain't going nowhere. You're flapping harder. You ain't going nowhere. You're on the branch. But you're fledging. God said, get ready. I'm about to take you off that branch. I'm going to take you off. You're going to be released from anxiety. You're going to be released from worry. And you're going to take off. If you're not saved, you found a good place to get saved. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I feel it here. Let's lean. Let's catch somebody. I'm bumping people all week. I'm telling you right now. Get out my way. It's <laughs> coming down the hallway. Bye. What is you doing? Knocking everybody out. Why are you doing it? Because Lord is leaning in my direction. Peace. Y'all not talking to me in here. It's funny. Y'all people come to church. Y'all be looking so stuck up. But y'all, 
Y'all Facebook page don't match y'all church page. <laughs> Amen. This is one place you can come and you can be who God made you to be. Amen. I don't know about other churches. I ain't got nothing about But this is one place you can come and be who God created you to be. Amen. And if you're not saved, come on, I need you to meet me here.